Hi, welcome to Default to Gaming's first look at Black Ops. And we're going to be playing some Nazi zombies right now on Kino Der Toten or something. Der Toten. Der <laughs> Untoten. It's German still, I think. Yeah. yeah and <laughs> do, do we know what that means, actually? Uh, untoten means undead. And I don't know what that means. I think this Kino might be a hotel because there's a lobby, a theater, and a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that sounds. That sounds yeah. Hmm. Um, that is a Nazi flag. So it yeah. is still Nazi zombies. Well, yeah. Let me let me try Nazi and zombies. tell you the story. So at the beginning of before you start Nazi zombies, there's a little mini comic strip thing. That's cool. And it shows the four guys from the Call of Duty Five Nazi zombies going into one of the teleporters and coming here in 1950. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, I thought you got to play as like JFK and stuff. Uh, that's in a different level. Oh. But in this level, that's the story behind this level. There are other two. There's two more, but you have to unlock them by playing the campaign. So. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. That's yeah. kind of cool. Man, um, I wanted to see you running around playing as like Fidel Castro or something, shooting <laughs> zombies. <laughs> yeah. That would right. be fun. So um, that's a little spiel about uh, zombies. But that's just kind of gonna be for your entertainment as we talk about Black Ops in general. Uh, this is the day after Black Ops has come out. Um. Unfortunately, mm. Red Chicken's the only one who's played it so far. Yeah. I, I've yeah. talked to a bunch of people who have played it, but Red Chicken's the only one who's actually played it. So what level are you at? I think I'm 16. That's a, that's a really fast level up. How many hours in is that? Uh, I would say that's probably f- three, maybe huh. four. Wow. Yeah, I got a lot in yesterday. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> no wait. That's right. It exponentially slows down. Yeah. Like, right. Like, the first game, I was level three. Next yeah, game. Have they raised level cap again? It's still. Uh, no, it's actually fifty. Oh, they lowered it. Yeah, oh. they lowered huh. it to fifty. That's nice. Yeah. Did they give a reason why? Uh, no. <laughs> Just lowered <laughs> it to fifty. Everything right. else, it's like everything else in this game. The reason has been we're Treyarch. We do what we want. Well, and I think they're trying to that. just sort of copy Modern Warfare Two a little bit, or at least Modern Warfare in general. So, so let's talk about that a little bit. Um. Well. Zombies. Well, actually, while I'm holding a shotgun, let me describe shotguns in this game. Uh, in Modern Warfare 2, basically, you could kill a guy from, you know, let's say 10 yards. Is that a good distance? Pretty far away. Yes. In this game, it takes about three shots to kill a person from maybe seven yards. Huh. And this gun only has two shots. Uh, so they super nerfed shotguns? Super nerfed shotguns. And I don't get that, because the only issue with shotguns in Modern Warfare 2 was the fact that they were... A secondary one weapon. of them was automatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And another one of them had the range of an assault rifle. Yeah. That's not that hard to fix. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, and the fact that, like you said, that they're a secondary weapon. So you basically, anyone could have it. Right, but now they're primaries again. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, they would have been perfectly fine, but... They still had to nerf them because, you know, they were super crazy. But then they went really far with the sniper rifles. Yeah. Um, not only did they not give them the, really, I think the main issue with, uh, quick scoping in Modern Warfare 2 was the fact that... They made it so accessible. It's, it's the sleight of hand pro that made it so easy. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I could, I could quick scope. Oh, okay. Due to the, the elitist ways of the sniper, I wouldn't have been class, classified as quick scoping, but I could shoot with a sniper accurately really quickly. Yeah. And that mm-hmm. was really aggravating for those who weren't as good at the game. Because they'd just be running along, trying to do their business and get a kill with, like, you know, their SCAR or their M16. And out of yeah. nowhere, they'd be killed by some guy, and then the kill cam, he does a 360. Yeah. And imagine if you're trying to learn the game. Mm-hmm. And, and that was happening and, constantly. And that's like, that's like when you unintentionally, like, taunt someone. Mm-hmm. It's like, and it just makes the game not as fun for people. Yeah. You yeah. know, it makes it really fun for the person who pulls up 360. They're going crazy because it's yeah. fun. They're probably, you know, that's their only one in their life or whatever, <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so, um, uh, so I think that was a bit excessive. But what were we about to. Oh, yeah. the um, One of the major issues, I think, with this game is that it seems like with the weapons, they've tried to f- balance them like it was balanced in Call of Duty 4. Mm-hmm. But take the guns from Modern Warfare 2 and the looks from Modern Warfare 2. But then they oh, did yeah? something really dumb. Yeah. And ran it on the World at War engine. Mind you, it's heavily yeah. modified, but wouldn't it make more sense? Why to not run just it off use the, the Modern Warfare Two engine? Yeah, the engine for all of the game's downfalls. The engine was really good. Yeah, everything yeah. Re- looked really nice, but in this, it looks almost exactly like Call of Duty Five. Yeah, I mean, really? Wow. Would, like, 
right now, th- this could easily be mistaken as a Call of Duty 5, you know, Definitely. DLC zombie map. Yeah. Except that right now, I think I'm holding a uh, new gun, so. Yeah, well, I mean, that's still not terribly out of the way. Mm-hmm. Um, they've also, like... That's a nuke. Yeah, that's a nuke right there. <laughs> Bam! What was that? The nuke. Nuke. They killed all the zombies. Yeah, and you oh, okay. plus 400 <laughs> points, but... Not being the zombie expert, really. So, um, let's see. Seems like they made the zombies a lot more creepy. Uh, there's new zombies, in fact. Yeah, this is actually this yeah, is it nice. feels like they like ripped the some stuff out of uh, Left 4 Dead. Well, um, yeah, not, but I that's kind of unavoidable. <laughs> I don't yeah, think at this point. Basically, every game has done that. Even StarCraft 2, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody's doing that. Um, zombies is a lot harder uh, for those of you who played zombies non-stop which is probably what a lot of people did instead of actually play the online part i i know i only bought the last dlc just to play yeah zombies <laughs> um so it's a lot harder you start off start off with four windows and so that's right off the bat usually the first one you start with two so hmm. so it's already just it's already twice as hard throwing you in, in there um well i thought you started with five uh it, i th- i believe it's four i at first, I thought it was five because no, I thought starting was five in in uh, World of War. No, one for each person and one person at two. No, that's after you open all the doors. Yeah. So uh, possibly. Well, uh, anyway, not important. You start off with two and basically all the DLC maps too. So. So this is. They're really throwing it at you. So you wonder, uh, do they have as I don't much? I think of that's a- true. Yeah, wait, that. actually, okay. Well, in the DLC maps, they were a little different, but in the first one or in the first Call of Duty Five. Zombies. And knocked around Toten, there was one by the gate, one to the left of that, and then three in the back. Oh, yeah. Never mind. So, <laughs> you didn't start off with two. But the point is, it's basically, harder. you start off in a room that's pretty small. There's a staircase, and you can't jump down the staircase. So, you basically, you have to go the way you came. And they come out a lot faster. Seems mm. darker. Yeah, it's a lot darker. Do they have uh, a flary thing? <laughs> Those are just a bunch of grenades I'm chucking because I was scared. <laughs> that seemed to work really well, except for the fact that it didn't. Is that a PP2K? Um, I don't know all the guns in this game. They yeah. they added so many. Well, I thought one for a two gun though. All right, so here they look. You can actually activate turrets too. So are they auto turrets or just like I don't I, know. I, I didn't didn't actually <laughs> activate one because we didn't. I don't think we had the power on yet. Dude, the film's starting. What's going on there? Um, it, I think it just counted down. Oh, that's fancy. So it seemed kind of weird because you just pick off like. You just get M9s and stuff off the walls, and yeah. they're Nazi zombies. Well, that's the same way it used to be. Yeah, but I mean, what's, it's odd, like what's odd is that it's Nazi zombies, yeah, I think. Yeah, that it's Nazi zombies. But Set in the 50s. Si- oh, here, the video's going to end. We're going to go part two. Um, well, not part two. It's just going to be oh. the end of this. Um, All right. So this was our kind of like first little talk about it. Yeah. We're going to have more stuff up today. Um, yeah. This may not even be the first thing uploaded. I don't know. Possibly. So. Let's see. So well, um, there you go. I'm Blarg. I'm Dr. Laser. And I'm Red Chicken. Thank you for watching.